It's the final chapter of the season then here at the spectacular Yasmarina Circuit. It's a race where the pole sitter failed to finish in three of the first four events. A front row start here is by no means a guarantee of victory. So we go into battle once more then as we get underway at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The drivers will be racing here in the Yasmarina Circuit through 16 corners and a lap distance of around 3.28 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places. So plenty of close racing, then plenty of speed and plenty of drama to be found in the laps ahead. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And it's Pierre Gasly in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Russell, Oscar Piastri, Sargent, Sainz, Ricardo, Potter, Norris, Leclerc, Ocon, Sonoda, Liam Lawson, Theo Porcher, Stroll, Albon, Magnussen, Bottas, Joe, Sato, Drogovic, and Dennis Hauger. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. And with me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. The last few races have been a bit rough for them, unable to get a clean run. That's got to have some effect on their confidence, surely. Certainly confidence is an important factor. And every time you're involved in an incident, it's not just the car you damage, but that confidence as well. But all the top racing drivers are able to tune that out when the race gets underway and focus on the job at hand. If you go away from this weekend having not given it everything, you're going to be devastated and disappointed for months. So let's get out there, give it a really strong finish and leave it all out on the track.
DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Drivers just moved into first place.
fairly decent stop, well within the times we expected. Look after these tyres now, we want to finish the race on this compound. Front is 4.4 seconds. Takes. That was a bit risky, we could have received a penalty.
Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 15.0 seconds. Here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by, 17.5 seconds.
drive. The whole team have worked especially hard this weekend, and that, my friend, is a fantastic reward. Well done. That's it then, they've taken the win here as we wrap up another fantastic Formula One season. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. That lead at the top has somewhat shrunk today. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid... There's a lot of cash just sitting on the books, waiting for us to decide what to do with it. I think it's about time we started putting that money to work.